Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be the third installation into kind of like my Bible tour, Bible review series that I'm doing. Um, I showed you guys my Bible collection, and I wanted to share with you guys how I use each of my Bibles, because I do use every single Bible that I showed you in that video. Um, so this is going to be the third edition to that, not including the two CSB Bibles that I hauled and shared with you guys. Um, but yes, I'm quite excited to share with you guys this Bible because I really, really love it. And um, it is this Bible here. This is the Study Bible for Women from Holman's. It is in the HCSB translation. And the style that I got is the Lavender and Blush um, Leather Touch. And I love this Bible. Honestly, I got it because of the color. I'm not even going to lie. Like, this Bible is stunning. And I actually found out that my first lady actually has the same Bible as well, which I didn't even know when I bought it at the time. So that's pretty cool. But um, it does come in this box right here. And I do keep my boxes when it comes to the Bibles that I get because I like to store my Bibles in the boxes and keep them in pristine shape. That's just me and my thinking. But um, And I do have a toddler, so I like to keep his hands off my Bibles. But um, this is a box that it comes in, and it gives you a little sample of what it looks like on the inside. Now, this is a $70 Bible. This Bible retails for $70, okay? It retails for $69.99. I don't know if you guys can see it, but $69.99. Um, However, I didn't pay $69.99 for this Bible, thank God. So, um, I got mine off of eBay, and the eBay seller that I got it from, I'm going to tell you guys, is called God For Me Men. Now, the thing about this is, I believe this eBay seller is actually ChristianBook.com's um, eBay store, because when I, do order, when I did order from the seller, and I mean, I've ordered, I think, majority of my Bibles from the seller, as well as my Bible bag from the seller, um, they came with an invoice for um, ChristianBook.com. So I don't know if this is a person that orders from ChristianBook.com and then just like gives it to gives it to you, or if it's actually the ChristianBook.com store. But either way, there's an invoice that comes with the stuff with um, from ChristianBook.com. But so I paid twenty four twenty nine for it, probably less than that actually. But right now it's on up there for twenty four twenty nine, and um, with free shipping. But if you order it from the actual ChristianBook.com website, it is $19.99, which is a steal. But their shipping prices are crazy. I think the shipping would be about anywhere from $5 to $6, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this Bible is a 2015 edition. And um, I'm just going to run through the specs real quick. It's a 2015 edition. There are 1,755 pages. It is double-columned. Um, it has silver... Uh, silver edge gilding on it and the text font is 8 point font and then the notes and kind of like commentary are 7 point font so if you do have a problem with looking at smaller font just keep that in mind it doesn't bother me because I wear glasses anyway um, and this is not a red letter text bible it is a completely black letter text bible so that's another thing to keep in mind um, the editors of this bible are Dorothy Kelly Patterson and Rhonda Harrington Kelly. They're the same ladies that uh, edited the KJB Women's Study Bible that I showed you guys from Thomas Nelson, which um, you can click the eye on the screen for that video. The same women that did that. So this is why that's why I actually got this Bible because I already knew their style of um, editing with the Bible. And I'm just going to quickly read what it says on the back and then flip the camera around and show you guys how I use it. Um, this I do use as a devotional Bible. I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is my devotional Bible. So when I'm doing my devos, whether it's the Our Daily Bread and Touch or one of my other devotionals, this is the Bible that I use um, to do all of my highlighting and stuff. And I'll show you guys that. But reading what's on the back quickly, it says, Equipping you to go deeper into God's Word. The Study Bible for Women is the most comprehensive study Bible ever prepared for women and by women. In this one-volume library of resources, authors trained in biblical studies and the original languages of scripture provide an incomparable study experience to reveal the meaning, context, and application of the text of scripture. Included in this premier study experience is the most extensive study notes published in a Bible for Women. It is in the HCSB, which is a Holman Christian Standard Bible, which is a clear contemporary translation that's faithful to the original languages of the Bible. Introductions to each book with key facts, themes, importance of the volume to women, and guidance for studying it. 
There are content outlines, which of course gives you a quick overlook. There are also threads of specialized study woven throughout, such as doctrines, which give explanations of foundational beliefs. There are character profiles, which give background on women in scripture. There are word studies that examine both Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek words. There are hard questions, which are like discerning answers to difficult passages. Biblical womanhood, which are relevant essays, and then written on my heart at the end of each book, which will either be a devotional on applications to the, to your, to apply the book to your life or a prayer that you can pray um, over that book after you've studied it. And um, yeah, I really, really love this Bible. It's really awesome. It comes in different um, designs. But what we're going to do now is flip the camera around and I'm going to walk you guys through how I utilize this Bible and give you guys my thoughts. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so like I said, this is the box that it comes in. It's a really nice gift box. I like it. I like to put it on the shelf. Um, it keeps the Bible safe and sound when I'm not using it. But on the front, it just says Holman Christian Standard Bible, the study Bible for women, um, print and digital. And then it gives you a little picture here of what your Bible would look like. And on the back, it just has all the information that I read. Again, here is the pricing for you with the ISBN and the website so now I'm going to open up the box and take the actual Bible out so you can glance at the gloriousness of this Bible and um, here it is nothing on the front just this nice leather kind of feel with some sewing or rather stitching and um, some sort of floral design on the cover that's really pale pink. The side looks like that gold, I mean not gold, but silver foil. And the back looks like that. So, we're going to open up the beautiful Bible. And like I said, I use this Bible for devotionals. And when I say devotionals, I mean like... When I'm doing my In Touch or my Our Daily Bread or any of my other devotional books, I use this to help me read and highlight. So um, this is my devotional color coding system. I actually got this from Amy Hale on Instagram as well as Tanya M. Andrews. I use pink for relating to the Trinity, which is God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, um, relating to their names, their powers, or anything like that. Yellow is for applications or commands to obey. I use green for connection words such as therefore and um, because, so, yet, but, things like that. Purple is anything that I want to pray. Blue is anything that's noteworthy and orange is a generalization. Um, it's just on an index card with some washi tape. I have this sticker in the morning when I rise, give me Jesus. This is from the, uh, where is it, where is it? The Me and My Big Ideas Faith sticker pack. So I have that. Um, I have this scripture. The scripture, sorry. It's a prayer, which I showed you guys in my prayer journal. It's the same uh, prayer. just says, Heavenly Father, send me anywhere. Only go with me. Lay any burden on me. Only sustain me. Sever any tie, but the tie that binds me to thyself. I want to have anywhere faith. Amen. And then this is another sticker from um, the Happy Planner, which it says, wake up and be happy because this is the first Bible that I grab in the morning. And um, the prayer, I, t I mentioned it in my prayer journal, but I got it from this book here. It's um, Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King. The Our Daily Bread Ministries has a book club and they are doing this book. And um, the prayer came from this book. I can flip to it. Here it is, uh, briefly, just quickly showing you. She got it from David Livingstone, and it's a poetic prayer. So I took it from her, and she got it from um, David Livingstone. But I really, really like this prayer, so I said I wanted to put it in all of my Bibles and all of my journals and stuff like that. So moving on, you get your uh, kind of presentation page. Um, this Bible is pretended to. You put the name. I put my full name. Um, on, I got this May 26, 2017 at, by and on the occasion of, then you have like the family tree section where you can put your wife's family tree, the husband's family tree. I can never say this word, uh, but this is the Jewish marriage contract and then where well, you would sign everything over here. 
family milestones you would write. I haven't filled it out though. And then your spiritual mothers you would put. Then it just says the study Bible for women, home and Christian standard Bible. Just put my phone on silent so you guys don't hear it. And okay, so quickly showing you guys these tabs that you see. I got all of them off of Amazon. And um, I mentioned these tabs before, but these are the Majestic Bible tabs. Let me try to fix this light because I feel like it's just too much. I don't know if this is better or not, but um, there we go. These are the Lavender Foil Edge Majestic Bible tabs. I have a bunch of them. I even have some extra ones here um, that I purchased. I mean, I love their Bible tabs. You can find them on, um, I don't know what happened, but... <laughs> there's the blue ones but you can find them on um, Amazon I'll leave them linked down below the ones I have in here are the lavender ones just because I thought it would go well with the Bible itself let me just quickly show you guys how it looks with the Bible so I just thought it would work with that so that is that moving along moving along if I can get to the page that I want to get to Alright, then you get the Study Bible for Women, Home and Christian Standard Bible. Dorothy Kelly Patterson is the general editor. Rhonda Harrington Kelly is the managing editor. And then you have the editorial committee. You have all of the copyright information here. And these are the other ones that they have. So they have a hardcover. They have a sky blue with deep red. Um, they have a teal and sage. They have a chocolate genuine leather a brown and pink leather touch and then a spring like leather touch you can get it indexed or unindexed um non-indexed i don't like index bibles so that's just my preference um here's the table of contents introduction how to study the bible the christian life the hcsb transliteration charts tables weights measures um and all that great stuff so here is the old testament and i like that they do it this way it's really nice and that takes about four or so pages With the rest of the things that come um then this is an introduction to the bible i of course like i said every time i get a new bible i do read the introduction introductory kind of bible stuff just to help myself um out and i did highlight a few things as you can see um also how to study the bible and i love that they had tips like actually printed or written not printed but copied in here sorry This is about the hermeneutics. Um, I don't know anything about it, honestly, which I think I need to learn about it. This is The Christian Life, which was written by Rhonda. Introduction to the Homans. Um, I haven't read this at all, so I need to actually read it. And just information about the Bible, the footnotes, and special formatting features. Transliteration charts. So Greek transliteration, Hebrew, vowels, tables of weights and measures. So your biblical units, the language, biblical measure, U.S. equivalent, metric equivalent, and various translations. Commonly used abbreviations in the HCSB. And then you go into the Old Testament. And here is how it's set up. So here's a section with the word study. You get your commentary over here, your footnotes on the bottom. Um, this would be your introductory kind of info about the book of Genesis. So you have your who wrote it, the recipients or the audience, um, the time it was written, the location, what it's about, and then why women should read Genesis, and also how do you read and study Genesis. They give you a little timeline at the top, which I think is cool. You get your outline, and then you go into your actual text. So, um, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys just a bit. And autofocus. Okay. Let me just move this up just slightly. Um, so, there it is. And I'll just flip through. Um, 
so you guys can see this is how I go about um, using my devotional Bible and again you have your doctrines here your commentary your footnotes at the bottom these are the hard questions that they discuss and then they have little charts and things like that this one is on days of creation here's another one I did here is a character profile. Here is a biblical womanhood. This one is, um, did God establish different roles or functions for men and women before the fall? So this is just a little essay explaining the roles of women and men prior to the fall. More charts. Um, I did a lot for uh, chapter 13 of Genesis because it was part of my devotional time. So, yeah, moving on to Exodus. I don't think I did anything in Exodus, honestly. So, we're just going to fly through, honestly. Your Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, here's Ruth. Um, so... And I think that's it. So what I'm going to do now is go to the New Testament. Because I have some highlights in here from when I was actually using this to study in the New Testament. So um, here's Malachi. New Testament looks like that. And it's set up the same way. Again, here's another word study section. So I like that they include that. I think I'm going to jump to John. Yes. So, um, let's go back, I guess, to Luke. I don't know if I did anything for Luke. I didn't. So, we're just going to jump to John because I was using this Bible um, when I was first studying John in Romans. So, um, at first, I was just highlighting whatever stood out to me with um, a gel highlighter. And then I was following with the Good Morning Girls color coding system. So,. when I say I was following along you guys like I was literally underlining things to, based on um, their system and I like their system but I don't know for this Bible I just didn't care for it just because this was um, a different type of Bible for me I guess this was like the first time you using the HCSB um, the things in bold are references to the Old Testament quotes, I mean, not quote scriptures. So I like that in this Bible, though it is not red letter text, that if they make reference to, um, a scripture from the Old Testament, like, they actually say the same word for word thing, they will bold it so you know, and it'll be a note at the bottom to tell you where they got it from. So I would always highlight that with a blue gel highlighter. But, um, this is John. When I was studying it, there we go again with the bold words. And purple was anything that um, Jesus was saying, so there was a lot of purple going on. Here's another devotional session that I had. I mean, I was really using this, like, in depth with, um, John and Romans. Another devotional session. And I'm sorry if you can hardly see it because it is colored pencil I was using. Um, but you can definitely see, like, the highlights and stuff I was using. What was this? Brown because it was a sin. Um, so, you know. And this is um, the written on my heart. This one is actually a prayer over John. So some of them will be a prayer. Some of them will tell you things um, you should probably want to remember. But that's that. And I guess we can flip to Romans. As you can see, I was like really underlining and stuff in this. And there's a lot of brown because this Romans was like um, Paul. I think this was Paul, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Paul was telling them a, a lot of things that they shouldn't do and things that were sins. So, 
Here is theological terms, which I really like that they do this. They give you the term, the definition, and the reference to the scripture. So they go over salvation, grace, faith, righteousness, justification, sanctification, and glorification. They also had a word study on wrath. Another Devo doctrine on baptism. And I mean, I didn't really go through all of Romans because that's when I had stopped um, using this Bible. It took me a while to realize how I wanted to use the Bible. And I think it wasn't until either this month or in February that I decided to use it for my devotionals. Because it helped me understand the devotionals that I was reading a lot better. So, you know. Oh, see, this is one that I started, um, but I actually never completed doing it. So that lets you know, like, sometimes there are some days where I will skip out on um, devotionals. And it's not that I do it purposely, but sometimes I just get bogged with life. And, um, you know, I used to try to catch up on my devotionals, but the Lord has been teaching me that it's okay, you know, when you can't get to your devotionals. Um, you don't have to stress out and do it because I would literally stress out and try to complete all five or six days, two, three days that I missed um, before completing what I wanted to do. And then that would stop me from still going back into devotionals. So this was, like I said, one that I started doing a devotional on and then just never finished it. Women mentioned by Paul and Romans, character profiles. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there was much of anything else that I did in here as of late. Oh, here we go. Galatians I did do. And this is when I was first starting because you guys can see I kind of like messed up every now and then. But um, now I have the hang of how to use, uh, how I'm going to use this. Here's another biblical womanhood, which is submission in marriage, which is something I really want to read. Um, another written on my heart. This just gives you a like a little, I guess, overview or some not synopsis, but like a review, I guess, of what you read in Ephesians. So we're gonna go all the way to the back. And then you got your HCSB bullet notes because some things do have bullet points, and I don't know if I can find one for you. Okay, like slaves, I don't know if you guys can see, has a bullet point right there. Let me actually zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. So, you guys can see, slaves has a bullet point. So, you would go back here to the HCSB notes to um, figure out what that bullet point was meant for. So, let's just go to slaves quickly. Uh, slaves, here we go, and it tells you exactly what. It is up here. Sorry. Um, then after that, it goes into the different features and um, explains it, which I honestly think they should have put this in the front of the Bible, just because most people are not going to go to the back of the Bible immediately. But um, it runs through the different features, such as the introduction, which gets the timeline and the who, what, when, where, why, the outlines, um, your threads, which are kind of like your commentary study notes. Uh, then the doctrines, character profiles, your word studies, your biblical women, essays, hard questions, they run through that. Um, and then your applications, which are kind of like they're written on, on um, my heart sections of the Bible. This is your index of features. So this runs through every article par character profile that they have. So these are all the biblical womanhood essays, all the character profiles, um, all of the charts that they include in the Bible. All of the doctrines that they go through. And I mean, they go through angels, cherubims, and living creatures. Uh, they go through the work of Christ. They go through the church government, the church leadership, God's provision, God's love, hell, holiness, the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit, um, mankind, creation, sin and forgiveness. Then they go through the hard questions, which are like, am I guilty of greed or outright disobedience if I do not sell everything I own and give it to the poor as Jesus commands which is something that I think a lot of us we do tend to think about but don't really ask because it's something we don't really care to ask or don't want to ask um does God care about victims of rape which is something that I think a lot of women uh should know that he does care about victims of rape um does God get angry yes he does uh you know I like that they include these maps and um reconstructions the study Bible for Women acknowledgments, the 
citations. Then you have your HCSB concordance. So I mean, we all know what a concordance is. It's basically, if you don't, if you want to remember a scripture but can't remember the scripture, you would think of the words or the few words that you can um, remember, look it up in a concordance, and then go through the different scriptures, and it'll tell you which scripture it's from. So um, you know, and it's a hefty concordance. It's not a a, a weak concordance. This is a pretty hefty uh, few pages of concordance. Then you go into your maps. I don't think there was anything else. After that, no, okay. So then you get your maps, which are nice and colorful and pretty. So this is the migration of Abraham, which is from Genesis eleven twenty-seven 27 to 12, 9. The route of the Exodus, the trial allotment of Israel, the kingdom of Israel and Judah, Israel in the time of Jesus. The ministry of Jesus around the Sea of Galilee, the Passion Week in Jerusalem, and this is Paul's missionary journeys, um, the first, second, third, and his voyage to Rome. So that is, oh my god, I am so sorry. <laughs> that is it for this beauty, you guys. That's how I use the Bible. Um, like I said, it's a devotional Bible. I like using it that way because it's easier for me to um, understand my devotionals when I'm re reading them. Because sometimes when I read them in the King James or the New King James, I still get confused. But reading it in an easier translation helps me to really be able to understand the devotionals better. And um, I think that is pretty much it for this so again this is the third installation into the series i hope you guys enjoyed this video again the links for you guys to purchase this on ebay amazon and christianbook.com will be linked down below and um if you have any other questions about any of my bibles or you want me to do a specific kind of video just leave it down below and i'll definitely get to it but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one bye